Hello everybody, welcome back to Houston. So we have a few things to do today on my GM notes. So one of the things was actually to turn off morale. I am going to do that now. I believe you can, right? Morale meetings. Oh, those were on? What the heck? Okay, off. I definitely don't want meetings, but can you turn off the morale system as a whole or no? Did I miss it? Might have missed it. Well, morale meetings is the most important thing. I don't want to do those, but I don't even think we've had one yet. Huh. I swear there was a way to just turn off morale after the fact, but maybe not. Maybe we're stuck with it on for now. And yeah, that's just something that we can turn off in future franchise modes. I severely doubt it'd be under gameplay sliders. Anything else? Yeah, probably not. So we're going to leave that for now. Um, also, to use the fine trade or... Player search, yeah, those are pretty important as well. That way you can look for specific players and you don't need to go through all of the trading blocks. I also like to go to this trading block, though, to see who the other teams do have, or sorry, browse trading block to see who other teams have available. Morale, yeah, so I don't think there's really a way to turn this off anymore. I think it's just kind of there. Dreger is considered a leader and he is no longer on the team. Sorry about your luck. Well, yeah, we want to get rid of him. So that's going to be done. And I also saw something about auto scouting. It's already turned on. And okay, we need to, for scheme fit, use the bars on the far right side of the player page to the right of coach's preferences. I'm not too sure what that one means. Like player page as in if I go here. This player page? Is there like a coach's preferences or anything? Currently have no concerns. Good. You better not. All right. Well, anyway, what's our analysis on? Do we, we can't get like a scouting report on him because he's on our team? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So maybe Dubois. Uh, I just don't see him being a, a future part of this team, if I'm honest. I think he's going to be traded eventually. But last but not least... We are going to be sending Boss back down for now. Apparently, it's not very good unless they are 79 plus to play them in the NHL. So, we're going to go ahead and send him back down. And I guess we'll bring someone up. Because I don't think we have anyone scratched right now. I don't believe I would have done that. But let's have a look anyway. Edit lines. And if we go to scratched. Yeah, just read your. So, no. All right. So, let's go to options. Roster moves. And let's send Boss down. So, and who are we going to bring up? I could bring up Max Jones. Power forward. And I'm pretty sure he has like a lot of good fits with the NHL coach. So, maybe we should bring up Max Jones. Yeah, let's bring him up. So, we'll bring up Jones. And in the NHL, we are going to send down Boss. Yeah, there it is. So, let's finish. And no waivers, no waivers. Have to fix your roster after this. I am well aware. Let's go to edit lines. Now let's just do best lines for now. But I am going to try to edit these a little bit. So head coach preferred lines. All right. And okay, just making that move alone brings plus one, plus one. So maybe I will do that. Roslovic can be on the third line. He is listed as a third line scoring forward. So that sort of fits, you know. He belongs there, it seems. Dubois is not really doing any favors for that line and yeah that won't really oh wait i saw plus two really okay so robert thomas dubois and palmieri get me a plus two interesting i'm okay with that that's very decent and if we i don't know if you just heard my cat just jumped off of like um the windowsill thing that she likes to sit at and made a very dramatic sound but regardless defense we are good there. Plus one, plus one, plus three. That is phenomenal. I wonder if there's any way. Ooh, no, nah, I think we saw that last time. I don't want to mess with that, though. I want to leave it as is. Okay, one, one, three is good for me. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Campbell, and we are going to have DiPietro backing him up. And then if we go to the starting line, we've got two, one. Is there any way I can make this any better? I mean, it's pretty much just going to be tossing stuff here and there to see if we get any adjustments so if i move hmm if i move russ down we still get that plus two 
And what's his face-offs, by the way? 75, that's not bad. And then we have three centers up here. Trocek, Dubois, and Hurdle. And he has 87, 82, and 74. So let's try to throw Trocek in the middle then. Give him the face-off dot. 81 for Frederick, so that's good. We got good draws there. And 80 for McLeod. All right, that's solid. That is very solid. And if I move... Ooh, I could... Uh, these guys are pretty much one of the same. Medium top six and medium top nine. So yeah, let's play McLeod up there then. Jones can stay here. He is listed as a third line checking forward, but I think he's going to have to remain on the fourth line for now. Sorry about your luck, Max. Maybe if you get it done down there, then you can get promoted. Uh, I don't really know too much about how to get this stuff to work. This chemistry, it just never really seems to work. But, yeah, there you go. We'll have a minus three for our second four-man. How often do you really have a four-man power play anyway? Let's be real. Okay, at least our first power play is a zero. So that's nice. And we want... Um, should we mess with this line at all? Palmieri, Thomas, Roslevic. What is our starting line? So we got Palmieri, Thomas, and Rust. So what if we do the same? Palmieri... Thomas and Russ. That doesn't really make a difference. All right, cool. Good to know. Maybe it depends on the defenseman as well. Probably does. Penalty kill. Oh, I like that. And I want you to be in the middle because you have better draws. So yeah, that's nice. We get a plus two on that second PK unit. Good stuff. Three-man PK. Uh-huh. I mean, Sergachev, is he? Oh, he's a two-way, actually. Klingberg's an offensive, so I don't really want him there, per se. Let's throw... Hag up there, and then if we go to our defense, right defense, left defense, hmm, who can we put in there? You know what, minus one's not that bad. It could be worse. And if we go to our defense, I only saw five defenses. Oh, but yeah, it's because I was swapping him out. Okay, never mind. And there's our goalies. Okay, so we're good there. AHL, Vladar and Scott. Yes, sir. Starting lines. I think we pretty much just left this as was. But let me see if I... Oh, right. Boss is down there now. So never mind. We're going to we're gonna have to bring Boss up to the first line for sure. Just let me mess around with this little bit. And I will be right back. All right. So not a whole lot changed. Scott's up at 76 overall now. So that's nice. Vladar is still there at 82. We have Boss on the first line with Malgan and Hagel. And then our second line here is a plus one, which is nice. And nothing else is really super important. Here's our defense. Deneen, 24, medium top six, could possibly grow. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Get that plus two on that first. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that then. 202. Delightful. Love that. And then, yeah, we'll keep that as is. So, cool. Let's go. And is there anything else I needed to do? Send boss down. Use the player search to find players. Turn on auto scouting. That's already done. For scheme fit, use... Okay, I'm not really sure what that scheme fit thing means still. And yeah, turn off morale. We can't exactly do that, but I turned off meetings, which is the most important thing. So let's just view our NHL lines one more time. This is what we're running with for now. Maybe at the deadline, we can make a huge move, like get rid of Dubois and package him with a pick or with Dreger, something along those lines. And then that way, we can get a star first line player or at least... You know, a pretty good for a slam player. Let's actually... I wonder if I can find any trades right now for Dubois. Just replace him at the beginning of the year and get it over with. Get a left winger who... Actually, you know what? Hurdle's considered a left winger. So maybe we should get a right winger who is like a first line forward. And what player type would they be? Probably a playmaker would be ideal. So yeah, maybe we'll try to find a first line playmaker. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go do some scouting. And I will be back. So I'm kind of looking around here. Obviously, these guys aren't on the block. But we do have Natchez, who is 88 overall at 23. There's no way they're going to trade him. Suzuki, he is not going anywhere. They will not give him up easily at all. So I'm thinking that our prime suspect here would be Sam Reinhardt. I don't think it's going to be easy to get him either. But it might be worth the shot. So let's see if we can do it. I mean, he is only 86 overall. So we're upgrading by one overall. But I think... As long as, you know, we don't... Ah, oh, but I guess, yeah, even that trade value is pretty offset. And he can still grow this year, right? He's 26, so he's in his final year of serious growth. I know Dubois is only 24, 
So uh, it's it's tough to say, but Dubois doesn't really seem to be going anywhere, and he also doesn't really seem to fit a whole lot of our our team's objectives or I guess chemistry. So that actually will not be allowed to go through. And I don't want to retain any salary because of the fact that he's still got two years left. Okay, so what else can we do to make this work? I did see someone saying to get rid of Vladar, I believe, as well. But what about, what do we do with Dreja then? Okay, so if we toss Vladar in there, I mean, he's a pretty solid goaltender, but oh, never mind. 885, 336, <laughs> man's gotta go. Not really, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's that's not too solid. I guess we could keep Dreger and just have him, for now, be a very, very good AHL goaltender and maybe try to dish him at the deadline. Uh, but, hmm. Okay, well, let's let's try. I don't think this is going to go through, but let's try. Uh, oh, all right, never mind. It worked. <laughs> don't, uh, don't chirp me too hard about that trade if I just got fleeced. I don't know if I got fleeced. But anyway, let's edit the lines and let's go ahead and just... Literally plug Reinhardt into here. I guess he's primarily a center as well, but substitute in all lines. Okay, it's a zero, and I don't think there's a whole lot we could do about that. Yeah, I think he's he's going to be a zero on that first line. But you know what? Hurdle, Trocek, and Reinhardt, that's a pretty solid first line. I'm down with that. What's his face off? 78? Trocek has a really good, right? Yeah, 87. Okay, so basically, we, we just got a new... Playmaking right winger. So we got the sniper two-way forward playmaker combo. I'm pretty happy with that. In the AHL now, I do need to go to goalies and fill this spot. I suppose I will go to roster moves. Oh, okay, back to edit lines. Let's just do... Oh, but then I have to edit all the lines. I'll just plug them in. True. Okay, this guy can go in. Substitute. Yep. Options. Go to roster moves. Dreja, you're going to be the starter in the AHL this year, and you are going to show <laughs> Ian Scott the ropes. Uh, actually, no, let's go to NHL. Dreja, uh, dang it. He has to clear waivers. Okay, never mind. We are going to have Ian Scott as our starting AHL goaltender to the max. Goalies, Ian Scott, there you go. Lead that team. Yeah, he can do it. He can do it for sure. All right, on that note, Let's start simulating. We do have some cap space, which is a nice, I suppose. And we got a new right winger who can hopefully get the job done. But I guess we're going to find out. So let's actually, depending on how things are going, I might just straight up sim to the deadline. But I'll take it a little bit at a time. Where are we right now? So yeah, we're season just begun. I'll simulate to here. Boom. Here we go. And a big 8-2 win over the Avalanche. Holy crap. That's massive. Matthew Pro, no, thank you. All right, keep it going. The Predators. Oh, there's an L to the Preds, an L to the Oilers. Big win over the Bruins, and then a loss to the Blues the next night. Shootout loss to the Capitals. There's two big wins that we needed. Three in a row. Nice. Four in a row. Love that. And then two L's in a row. San Jose Sharks, that is a shutout loss. We also lose to the Rangers and the Stars. We are now 8-10-1. Oh my goodness, we lost to the Yotes, but then we beat the Blue Jackets. All right, so it's it's going okay. The Jets are suffering mightily. Uh, let's go one more month, sure. Here we go. The Jets, and they beat us because, of course, they do. The Senators is a win in favor of us. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, things are not going so hot. Things are not going so hot at all. 14-7-1, 15-7-1. Hmm. Is this going to be a year to just get a good draft pick? <laughs> is it going to be like that? How's the AHL team doing? Okay, they're doing quite well, which is nice. Oh, man. You know what? There's tons of time to turn it around, but also... I don't think it really matters that much. Like, we're not going to... I don't want to make any drastic changes. So maybe let's just go up to the deadline. If we're actually in some sort of contention at that point, then we can debate on making a big move to try and have a push post-deadline, or we can decide to pretty much just pack it in and try to get a good draft pick. But we are definitely winning some hockey games right now. I do not want Perel. I'm sorry. The Rangers beat us last time, and we get the better of them this time. 
Moore and Carpenter for it. No, I don't want to give up my draft picks. Big win. Okay, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you. Edit this, and I don't want none of this. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of here. See you later. Who keeps updating that anyway? Can I tell him to stop? There's a loss to the LA Kings, but redemption the night after. All right, let's go, Hammerheads. Let's go. Why do the Jets keep getting the better of us? Is it because we had Dubois and traded him? Anyway, the Leafs beat us, but we get the better of Chicago. All right. So right now, keep current trading block. Oh, no. It's going to ask me to go in, isn't it? It's going to ask me to go in. I might have to make an on-the-fly decision here. I didn't think of that. Like, yeah, if I do continue simming, it's going to go through it. All right. Well, we are actually in a decent spot to make the playoffs. So I'm thinking it might be a good idea to try and send it. To really go for it here. There's no big time forward superstars on the block. We do have Bertuzzi who's 87 overall. Which is pretty good. Maybe we could try to pick him up as well. And add to our forwards. Hmm. Two way forward. One year left at 4.7. So he's going to be gone after this year. 87 overall would be the best. On oh wait what just happened? No I don't want Latang. Get out of here. Exit. All right, maybe we could try to go for Bert. Let's see what we could get rid of in exchange for Bertuzzi. And obviously, first thing I'm going to do is go to goalies. And they don't want Dreger, but he's still 84 overall. And honestly, that is pretty close in value. Okay, for a guy we're not even using. Let's just see if that will go. Okay, Dreger for Bertuzzi, one for one. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, there there we go. That's out of the way. Anyone else we want here? Not really. I mean, our defense have pretty good chemistry right now. I think things are going all right. So you know what? I think we're done. Let's just pack it in. Yeah, exit the trade deadline. Okay, that was, that was successful, I would say. And then I'm going to go and check our team. Eric, Ro actually, isn't he okay? View player info. 79 overall. Two-way forward. Hmm. Actually, he fits our forward line too. And that's for the AHL. Interesting. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to pass on him. Decline. He's actually a decent player, but nah. So, yeah, we are in a position where we could push for sure. Reinhardt has 50 points. Let's go to edit lines again here. And now we have to plug in a new player. What I'm going to do is actually screenshot these lines so I remember who was where. And now let's do... Preferred lines, and Bertuzzi is on the first line there with Hurdle and Thomas. Okay, so let me try and mess around here and see if we can get some good chemistry. All right, so here's what I've settled on. Hurdle, Trocek, and Thomas. And then we have Rust, Reinhardt, and Bertuzzi on the second line, plus two. And then Sanford, McLeod, Palmier. Is he listed as a... He is listed as a first line forward, so maybe I should have him on the first line. But if he's a plus two on the second line, I think he'll be all right. We'll leave him there for now. And then... We do have Jones, Roslovic, and Roslovic and Lindblom on the final pair, which is a plus one, Palmier, McLeod, Sanford. So, yeah, you know what? I think we look pretty decent. I think we could actually have a, a push here. And DiPietro's up to 83 overall now. How is he doing, actually, currently? He is... Oh, my word! Mikey! What a legend! All right, he's doing good. He's doing good. Campbell is also playing pretty solid. So, let's go to the HL quick to make sure... Nothing is affected down here. Yeah, boss is up to 79 now. Atta boy. He has gone up quite a bit. Defense, we are still good there. And in net, Scott is 77 overall. 917. Good stuff. Atta boy. Yeah, things are going quite well. I'm enjoying this. NHL. All right. We are going to have to re-sign Bertuzzi. Let's actually see if he wants an extension right now and just try to get that out of the way and how much more he's going to want. So Bertuzzi, he doesn't want an extension. And he, oh man, he's going to want a lot. He is going to want a lot. So let's, let's wait on him. Let's wait. Sergachev as well. Oh, but he's already making 4.5. Okay, he only wants a million more. That's not extreme. So we should be okay there. And then Robert Thomas. I mean, to be fair, we got Bertuzzi for Dreger, who was doing nothing on our team anyway. So even if he does walk, it's not the end of the world, which we might end up having to do. Unless we trade away some of these guys. But honestly, a lot of these guys I'd almost prefer to have over Bert. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. But it looks like we might actually run into a little bit of cap issues here. 
Because Bouchard, we need to sign for a decent amount. Robert Thomas is going to want a big upgrade. Yep. Lindblom, we could probably let him go. Actually, he wants less, so that's pretty good. Roslovic, he also wants less, so that's nice. We're cle clearing up some cap there. McLeod is going to want not much more, which is good. Trent Frederick, probably about the same. Okay, so in the system, uh, we don't really have a whole lot to worry about here. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, cool. Goalies, we do have to re-sign Di Pietro after this year. And, oh, he doesn't want a lot. Why does he want so little? What? All right, you know what? Let's let's try to let's try to get him on a long deal here. Why does he want so little? We're going to lock him in like Scott, and hopefully he doesn't get, like, contract locked. All right, there you go. Di Pietro, even if you do end up just being a backup, that is an absolute steal of a contract. So I'm going to try you for that. But everyone else I'm going to leave for now, and let's go... Advance one day at a time, see if we do end up getting DiPietro back. Shootout loss, it was an easy... Okay, well then, I don't know how that works, but super down. Let's just finish up the year and see if we do end up making the playoffs or not. So simulate up to this day, here we go, Hammerheads. Another shootout loss, oh no. What have we done? What have we done? Alright, there we go, that's a huge win. Big win, let's go. Nice, 40 wins already and still have quite a few games left. We got this, we got this. Can we make the playoffs? They fired their coach. Good for you, Isles. Okay, that's a big L against the Canucks there. Oh, no. Detroit's making us pay for grabbing Burt. Nice. It's looking like we're going to do it. I think we're going to be in the playoffs this year. That's a huge win. And that's a huge win. Wait, what? Oh, season's not over yet. Yes, we made it in. We made it into the playoffs. We are going to be against the Golden Knights in round number one. How about that? So if we look at the team standings here, we finished fourth in the Pacific with 99 points. Just shy of 100. 47 wins on the year. That is great stuff. Where did we finish in the entire league with 99 points? Okay, so we ended up 12th, which is still pretty solid. The Houston Hammerheads had a good year. Definitely. All right. Awesome. Presidents goes to the Washington Capitals. If we have a look at individual player stats, we still aren't getting a whole lot of points. We got 64 from Reinhardt in 81 games. Hurdle put up 60. Klingberg with 57. Robert Thomas, 55. All right. So I'll just kind of scroll down the list here so you guys can see everyone. Frederick, 10 points. boy. He only played 63 games, though. Is he... Oh, but he wasn't in the lineup to start the... Well, yes, he was. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's out of the lineup now. I'm not sure. Um, let's have a look at the goalies. So Jack Campbell... Yeah, 9-18, 34, 25, and 5 with two shutouts. Mikey, 13, 5, and 0, two shutouts, and 9, 24, 230. Legendary stuff right there from Mikael. Okay, uh, let's actually check out. Uh, you know what? I won't check out the awards and the all-league stats until the next video. We'll kind of just go over that and, well, maybe till the playoffs are done. We won't bother looking at that. AHL, let's see what happened here. Malgin with 60 points. Boss, 59. 79 overall. He's now listed as a fourth line forward. And he should get some AHL playoff exposure this year, I believe. I'm not too sure how they actually did. Scott, 77 overall. 37, 20, and 4. Six shutouts and a 919. You legend. Good stuff. All right. He's growing very, very slowly, though. Even if he becomes like an 82 or something, we have him on a very good contract for a backup. So him and DiPietro, both going to be... Super tradable if we need them to be. Yeah, let's check out the AHL standing. So they finished... Well, is their season done? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But either way, are they really not making the playoffs? Or did they not make... They didn't, I don't think. 82 games played. I'm pretty sure they missed the playoffs. That is silly. Well then. Sorry about your luck, AHL team. Maybe boss won't get any exposure. But... Yeah, you know what, though? I'm happy that the NHL team made the playoffs. Boss is up to 79. We got DiPietro on a great contract. We got rid of Dreger for a guy who can hopefully help us make a playoff push here in Tyler Bertuzzi. I am, I'm liking this team right now. It's good stuff. Our drafting has been okay at best. We do have a high elite goaltender in the system. And I believe we have, uh, besides Boss, maybe another medium elite forward. Or maybe a top six. I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know how you think these, these, how these playoff series is going to go. <laughs> this playoff series is going to go against the Golden Knights. 
and if there's any line changes you think I should try. But yeah, we we made it. We did it. Let's go hammerheads.